Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the Laplace transform of the given function. So in all these problem, we are going to use the formula Laplace transform of e power a t is 1 by s minus a where s is greater than a. So coming to the first subdivision, we have Laplace transform of e power 4 t. In place of a we have 4. So it is 1 by s minus 4. Then second subdivision e power 2 t plus 3. So Laplace transform of e power 2 t plus 3. This we can split into two part L of e power 2 t into e power 3 then e power 3 is a constant which is taken outside so e power 3 l of the remaining term is e power 2t now e power 3 is written as it is and laplace transform of e power 2t is 1 by s minus 2 by rearranging we get e power 3 by s minus 2 then third subdivision we have e power a t by a. So in this L of e power a t by a we can take the constant 1 by a outside then we left with L of e power a t. So this is 1 by a and e power a t Laplace transform is 1 by s minus a. Then coming to the fourth subdivision we have e power minus a t. So we are going to play the same formula and in place of a we have minus a. So it will become 1 by s plus a. Then the next subdivision e power 2 t plus e power minus 5 t. L of e power 2 t plus e power minus 5t. So we can split this into two part. This is L of e power 2t plus L of e power minus 5t. So totally by applying formula in place of a we have 2. So it is 1 by s minus 2 and here it is minus 5 in place of a. So 1 by s plus 5. Coming to the sixth subdivision, we have L of 5 minus 3t minus 2 e power minus t. So let's take the question here and we are going to split this into three part. So one is L of 5 and another is minus L of 3t and another is minus L of 2 e power minus t. Now we can take the constant out. So phi L of 1, here 3 is taken out, so L of t is remaining and 2 is taken out, so L of e power minus t. So here we are going to use the formula L of t power n is n factorial by s power n plus 1 when n is an integer. So this is t which can be taken as t power 1. And now this is phi and L of 1 is 1 by s. So we can write here 1 by s then minus 3 then applying this formula 1 factorial by s power 1 plus 1 minus 2 and this one e power a t formula but here a is minus 1 so 1 by s plus 1. So now we are going to rearrange this. This is phi by s. 1 factorial is 1. So minus 3 by s square and this is minus 2 by s plus 1. If we take LCM, the LCM is s square into s plus 1. So here this phi will be multiplied by 
yes and yes plus 1 and 3 will be multiplied by yes plus 1 and 2 will be multiplied by yes square. Now we are going to simplify the numerator. So this is 5 s square plus 5 s minus 3 s minus 3 minus 2 s square whole divided by s square into s plus 1. So combining the like terms first and last is 3 s square then we have plus 2 s then minus 3 whole divided by s square into s plus 1. Then coming to the next subdivision, we have L of 2 power t. So, 7th subdivision L of 2 power t. So, we are going to rewrite this term. L of 2 power t can be written as L of this 2 alone we are going to write it as e power log 2 because when we have e power log 2 e and log gets removed and remaining will be 2 so this 2 is written as e power log 2 then for this we have power t now using the exponent rule we can multiply the power so it is l of e power log 2 into t so log 2 is like a now so using the formula e power a t, its transform is 1 by s minus a. So minus of log 2. 